Wichita is the largest city in Kansas, located on the Arkansas River, with around 382,368 people, according to the 2010 census. In its beginnings, it started as a little cattle town and is now considered the air capital of the world. The city got its name from the Native American tribe called the Wichita Indians, who are members of a group of Plains Indians called the Cato, who lived all the way from the North and South Dakota, Kansas, Nebraska, Arkansas, Oklahoma, Texas, and to Louisiana. The name Wichita comes from the Choctaw word pronounced Wichit, which means in their language, Big Arbor. Which they named this in reference to the tall grass lodges that looked like haystacks. The Wichita Native American Indians call themselves Karikarish, which in their language means paramount men. The word paramount means more important than anything else and or having supreme power. The Wichita Indians definitely took pride in their tribe and felt they were very strong, powerful, and above the rest. You can still see today that the city has embraced its heritage and celebrates it with open arms with the art one would see throughout the city. The Mid-American All-Indian Center and its events such as powwows and annual celebration called the Wichita River Festival. There are many attractions for recreation, entertainment, and good eating that make Wichita an amazing place to live. It's amazing all the things that you can do here in Wichita at a low cost. Wichita is number six on the Forbes list for the best bang for the buck cities. The economy is thriving in this city from the stable housing markets and employment gives it an inviolable step ahead of most cities in America, making it one of the most affordable places to ground your roots in living. Wichita is the fifth best city for real estate investors. One of Wichita's historical treasures or icon is called the Keeper of the Plains. This local icon was a gift given to the city of Wichita and goodwill for the people of Wichita, both Indian and non-Indian residents. This 44-foot, 5-ton steel statue was also put in place to commemorate the Bicentennial of the United States and a tribute to the many different tribes of American Indian nations. Black Bear Boston, from 1921 to 1980, is the designer of this piece and put together by Tom Washburn and was donated in 1974 to the Wichitans. Recently, the city of Wichita in 2007 has renovated this icon by elevating the statue up 30 feet onto a large rock. Surrounding the statue, individual rocks that at night light up with fire drums and is known as the Ring of Fire. Locals and tourists alike can see this amazing sculpture as they walk around the newly built plaza that has an informational area describing the way of life of the Plains Indians. We are still here, the first people of Kansas, the people who gave Kansas its name. We are still strong and growing stronger all the time, said Jim Pepper Henry, a called tribal member who has spent his career specializing in indigenous tribal historic preservation. He is a director of the Anchorage Museum in Alaska. Wherever we live in the world, we are the first Kansans, Pepper Henry said. It is in my blood. My roots are in Kansas. I am always going to be a Kansan, though I never lived in Kansas as a citizen. My people weren't given the choice of staying. There are still Native Americans that view the state of Kansas with mixed emotion. Even though many have left the state because they were forced many years ago, their influence still remains etched within the name of the state of Kansas, and also within the name of this great city called Wichita. There's just something about the city that draws you in. This city, you will agree, after visiting, has a spirit all of its own.